Hello everyone, my red here, back with more Angry Birds Holiday. And in this video, I'll be giving you a guide of all the things you need to know to get a full understanding of this game. As you can see, I've made some serious progress since my first look, so I pretty much understand how this game works. As you know, this game is about building various facilities and creating resources, which you'll need in order to service the pigs, so they'll forget about the eggs. And the most important thing when it comes to resources is storage capacity, so let's get down to that. There are two facilities that house your resources. The barn and the silo. And to increase storage, you need to use these items on the right. These items are specifically designed for increasing storage. You can even see how many of each item is needed to increase storage to the next level. Each level increases storage space by 10. However, the way to get these items is actually very tricky. Instead of buying them from a shop or something like that, you get them randomly when uh, harvesting farming patches or collecting items from uh, workshops. So let's try harvesting um, uh, bamboo and we'll see if we get any of those items. Oh, so no, I didn't get any of those items. Um, is there anything to collect? Oh, let's collect this and we'll see. Um, no. Well, we didn't get any of those items, so I can't show it, but the point is, if you, when you harvest your uh, for fields and collect uh, items, there's a chance you'll get to one of these items. So I know it's random, but that's how the game works. At least for now. Of course, if you don't have the items but want to up upgrade your storage, you can uh, use gems for that. Okay, other than these items, you also have a chance of getting axes, pickaxes, buckets, saws, and TNT. And these items also have a special purpose. Well, two purposes actually. The first one is removing obstacles from areas. So let's take this area for example. So if I were to clear this area, some boulders, a mud puddle and some trees will be left behind. And so to remove the boulders, I have to use axe, pickaxes and TNT. To remove this uh, mud puddle right here, I have to use uh, a bucket. And to remove any remnant trees, I have to use uh, saws and axes. Okay, the other purpose of use is using in these areas right here. So this is, uh, this is Chuck's forest and you can use axes and saws in it to get wooden resources. This is the mine and you can use pickaxes and TNT to get ores. And also this is most likely the pond in which you can use buckets, but unfortunately the, the, the pond is currently a coming a, pick, a coming soon area, so we'll have to wait for a future update to unlock the pond. Okay, other than that, uh, there are also tickets in this game, and tickets are used to send the picks to other players. So, and as you see, as you can see, there are two types of tickets: bronze tickets and gold tickets. And the difference between them is that if you use uh, golden tickets to send picks. Uh, the reward for that pig will be doubled. So, uh, let's take this piggy for example. So we can see it's uh, worth around 200 coins. So if I were to use a golden ticket to uh, to send uh, to send the, the pig, that pig would be worth uh, 400 coins. Oh yeah, uh, the doubling also applies to the XP points as well. And the way you earn tickets is that you need to service uh, visitor pigs. And visitor pigs are, are pigs that are sent by other players. And these are visitor pigs. You can sell from the clothing, because visitor pigs uh, have clothing, whereas regular pigs have no clothing. Oh, and some quests uh, can reward you with tickets. For this quest in particular will reward me with one bronze ticket once completed. 
Okay, so I pretty much explained how the storage works, how those uh, access, big access work, and how the tickets work. So other than that, I can give you um, some tips uh, which which you should follow if you want to progress faster in the game. So my first tip is that you keep an eye on your barn. Uh, I repeat, on your barn. You can uh, practically ignore the silo, but, but, but the problem with the barn is that it fills up uh, very fast. Mostly because, uh, as I said, there's a pond, but you can't use buckets, so these buckets have uh, practically zero use for me. And you, you can see how many buckets I have. They make up nearly a third of my items. So make sure that you have space in your barn. My other tip is that you focus on servicing pigs rather than completing these quests. So I know that some quests are rewarding, this one for example will, will reward me with uh, over a thousand coins once completed, but uh, servicing pigs is a faster way of earning uh, coins and XP. And my last tip is that you use uh, tickets uh, in cases where you don't have resources to service, uh, to service the pigs, or if you want to earn some uh, some coins and XP. Yeah, yeah, and the golden tickets in part in particular. Use those tickets on pigs that are worth a lot of coins. So let's see. Let's take this piggy. Oh, it's worth over a four, over four hundred coins. So I would definitely use a golden ticket to send it to another player because this way I'll receive over nine hundred coins. So, so that's about it. I've pretty much explained everything, so I hope you found my guide useful, as well as my tips. And if you have any other questions, um, visit our forum for this game at angrybirdsnest.com and, well, feel, feel free to contribute as well. So, okay. Um, if you if you are playing the game too, so make sure you service those pigs uh, and level up, so you'll unlock new facilities and items. Okay, so that's it. And for me, my red out.